Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to How I Make My Videos by SMG4. Now, he's doing another one of these storytime animation things, and honestly, I really enjoy them. I really enjoy them. And, yeah, ugh, that's all I have to say. I think, well, actually, I think he makes his videos in, well, I know he does. He makes his videos in Gmod, but, like, he sort of uses some editing stuff, like, for example, I think... He also adds green screen items and stuff. So, yeah, I think that's how he makes his videos. But, yeah, anyways, guys, read the links in the description. Make sure to subscribe to SMG4. The link's in the description. Anyways, let's get right into it now. Hey, you. You there. Do you enjoy watching SMG4? Do you want to control a yes. naked Mario 2? <laughs> Do you want to be stuck in a never-ending cycle of weekly content creation that constantly demands creative ideas from you to feed the millions of hungry viewers needing entertainment and that they are constantly judging every single move you do and one wrong misstep or unfunny video could completely cost your channel and your only reason to live? Great! You've come to the right place! <laughs> okay! Well, SML just posts on funny videos, and they still are exist. I'm glad I'll get to share it with you guys today. There are many parts to making a sexy masterpiece like yours, truly. So, without further ado, let's dive into each one. So you're an up-and-coming YouTuber, ready to get those meme juices flowing. But hold on there, partner. You're gonna need an idea first. You can sit down in a room and strongly focus on a completely original idea that no one in the world has done. Ah, screw it. Let's just get an existing thing and make a meme out of it, I guess. <laughs> now what can we do today? You can always base it on a trending game. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at FNAF and Baldi. Don't you guys yeah. have anything better to do? Or you can parody Oh, oh yeah! Pirate Ryan, Lord of the Rings, Sonic, Home Alone, My Hero, It, Indiana Jones, Godzilla, Castaways, Mad Max, The Avengers, Hell's Kitchen, Saw, The Purge, Jackass, Matrix, King Kong, Jaws, Titanic, Lion King, Story Story. God damn it, Kevin, we've done too many dad parodies. <laughs> Coming up with ideas Nice. Is pretty hard. I won't lie. Kevin and I even struggled to come up with basic stories like, this is how most conversations go. Uh, Mario becomes a firefighter. Uh, Mario Mafia. Mario, uh, door. Hey, a lot of great ideas were spawned with this method. I remember this one time, our editor James suggested an idea. Mario gets his dick stuck in a door. Yes! They looked at each other and said, It's perfect. So for this video, let's come up with an idea together. That was one of the best episodes oh, ever. Boom, all right, let's move on. Okay. So you got your masterpiece idea that will blow the world away. It's time to write on paper what the your hell is actually going to happen, or else your actors are going to get very confused. You got Mario confused. Scripting is very important, guys. Now with that said, I personally find writing a script a pain in the ass. <laughs> Having to pull stuff out of your ass with nothing to go off is pretty difficult. I sucked so bad at high school English classes. The teacher would ask us to write a comprehensive essay of the emotions conveyed in the Shakespearean play Macbeth. And I'm more like, the. That's why Kevin helps me write, or else I would be doomed. You want to see real footage of me writing a script? <laughs> Back in my day, I didn't actually use a script. Yeah, I just winged the videos in the early years of SMG4. What video am I doing? Uh, uh, Toad finds gold and he becomes a bitch. All right, let's go. Then the ending would pretty much be unplanned and nonsensical. Everyone dies. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I guess that was the magic. That stuff definitely doesn't work when you have multiple people helping you. So that's why you write a script. Of course, write however you're comfortable with. If you enjoy writing in chunks, go ahead. If you enjoy listening to death metal while writing, jump right in. For writing jokes, what I like to do is think of a funny sound nice. effect I know, and then write a joke around that. For example, say we have this audio clip. Damn boy, he thick! What I would do is just make a setup that builds towards using that sound clip in a funny scenario. Like what I did here. It's so oh, yeah. thick! Extra thick! Damn boy, he thick! Also, make sure to set your limits. You may only have a certain amount of time to work on things, so it's up to you to decide if you want things looking like this. <laughs> Oh, or yeah. Like this. Ooh, oh, oh, one last piece of advice. If you're having trouble coming up with a joke, just make your own meme. Uh, just get the closest thing next to you, pick it up, and say it with maximum reverb and add spaces in between each letter. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's where they got it from. All this has greatly helped over time with getting Mario to do really crazy stuff that I didn't even know that he could do. Like, like wearing no pants. Oh yeah, that's that's the good stuff right there. Did you guys know that Mario spazzing out is just me breaking the emulator by loading a Zelda game? Pretty neat. Did you also know that my color really no put into it? There's this program that lets you choose what color to put on Mario's shirt, and I'm like, uh, blue, uh, white. Yeah, it's good enough. So yeah, I didn't steal from you, Stanley from Donkey Kong 3. Screw you. I hate you. My color code also appeared on a TV show back in the 90s. Oh man, look at me. That's me. That's... Oh god, how did that happen? How did this happen? So anyway, back to the emulator. I just loved using these programs in a weird but innovative way. It's why I used Mario Party 3's debug menu to do Wario and Waluigi animations. And also why I used GoldenEye 007 to record Swagmaster and Chris original. Oh! All these games I definitely own. Oh yeah, moving on. You're also gonna need a recording program. I use Fraps. If anyone still remembers this ancient piece of ass anymore. More. Just please, guys, whatever you do, don't don't use the hypercam recorder. Just, uh, uh, no, no, uh, no. Uh. You're gonna need Gaddy's a sandbox game engine that I put way too much time in, and I don't think I'll ever get those hours of my life back. Lastly, you'll need an editing program to glue your videos together and commit some visual crimes against nature. I've heard that Windows Movie Maker is pretty good. Oh, that Nickelodeon Toon Twister video editor game looks pretty, pretty professional. <laughs> I just use Sony Vegas. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag come on Sony, please sponsor me. When I first used this program, I was 13 years old. And I definitely had $430 laying around. So I used it and it was great. <laughs> Uh, it's finally time to start the real magic and record your Mario doing some pretty illegal things. Now unlike proper studios where they plan out all the shots properly, we're gonna wing it. My approach is to just focus really hard and visualize every single shot that will happen in my head. <laughs> now the Mario nice. 64 Machinima experience is 90% Mario punching the air and sucking his own penis as he talks to imaginary people. It's the language of the Martian Kingdom, I guess. Alongside that, I use tools that allow you to play animations as well. It's the future. Imagine me working on a computer. Now replace the computer with me banging two dolls together. That's pretty much how Gmod goes. You give Ragdoll's nightmare fueled faces and start chucking them around and hope oh, yeah. to do something funny. Don't get me wrong, the art of puppeteering characters is actually pretty tricky. I have to play Gary's mod without a reticle, so accuracy has to be on point. You also need patience for this, because Gmod is an old game. So it's prone to crashing, or just poor optimization. Uh, but overall, you can do almost anything in this game thanks to the amazing community. You can get models of anything. Characters, maps, Terry Crews, it has everything. I actually have some stupid personal stories with this game when I was younger. I used to be scared of loading any map because some maps had jump scares added inside of them. I think that might have added to my trauma of being scared to almost everything. Even if I spawned a zombie in the map and I forgot to delete it and then I lost where it was, I would just quit. And in my spare time, I would just go on these torture maps where you just throw ragdolls inside grinders and stuff. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, I know it's weird. But I ain't going online and talking to people. Ugh. You know what's funny? I've never actually have done a scene of SMG4 with another person on the same map. I just imagine doing a scene in Gmod together would go like this. <laughs> Sorry for that tangent. I've just spent so much damn time with this game. It's it's not funny. Ugh. Lastly, you want to get any images or really epic green screens for your videos in this part. Back in the yeah. day, I couldn't really achieve super detailed scenes. So if I wanted an epic fight scene, I'd have to use images only. And that was a pain in the ass to do. But hey, that's how I found your boy, The Rock, and The Old Man. And for this amazing script we're working on together, I'll record some footage for us. Damn, that's really riveting stuff. Oh yeah. Make sure your parents don't walk in. Okay, looks like you've done all the hard work, and now it's just hopelessly gluing things together in the hopes of making something funny. Now for anyone who hasn't edited before, here's a quick explanation of what editing is. 
<laughs> kind of, yeah, honestly. Oh. Well, that's just me editing the same crap for nine years. Jeez, have you guys seen some of the old editing I did? It used to leave like these black bars in the videos. They were from Mario 64. And my young self was like, eh, no one's gonna notice it. What's funny is that I used to be able to record seven minutes of footage in like half a day. I even got to the point of doing two videos in a weekend. But, you know, this was like 2012, so most of the footage was just gameplay and not much audio. And now I can barely make two minutes a day with the amount of crap I do. Goes to show what changes in nine years. I also barely ever missed an upload of SMG4, unless it was school related. You know why? Because I felt that the audience would hate me if I did. Yeah. I had a problem with even the slightest thought of someone hating me. I'd just be like, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh man, you know what that reminds me of? The first ever bad comment I got. It was something like, this video was sh**. And that made me just lose it. I couldn't edit for the rest of the day. Damn, was I a little bitch. And you know what? I still am. But that's okay. You know who's even more of a little bitch? Kevin. Because he really hates editing. He tried editing a video once. He went to go open up the editing program and he sat there. And then he was like, hey, look, this is too hard. I'm sorry, Kevin, if you're watching this. <laughs> but, you know, overall, I find editing pretty chill. You can turn on some lo-fi beats. You can, yeah. Getting his ass slapped. Mm. Very relaxing. And last but not least is sound. I think you all agree that sound is very important in SMG4. It's where the soul of it comes in. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the soul, all right. Really, this part depends on what memes you know and where to use them. I actually keep a pool of thousands of sounds on my PC, and it's just a fun game of mixing and matching dumb sounds to create beautiful music. Oh yeah. So many people have created SMG4 sound library playlists on YouTube. You know, I'm glad I could make this style of editing more prominent on YouTube. And that, folks, is a sexy recipe for an SMG4 video. This wasn't as much of a tutorial as it was just me sharing stories and my experiences of doing this. Well, I'm yeah, because story every time week for the past story nine time. years. I'm just glad I could share some of these experiences with you guys. And now it's time to watch the masterpiece we've made together. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> la la la. You got a fat ass. Oh my ass. Damn, that was... yeah, that was uh, something. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And comment below on what you want to see more of. Bye-bye. But, um, yeah, honestly, I really, I really do love these Sewer Time Animation videos because they're really chill. They're, like, really chill and nice. And, yeah, honestly, they're really great. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, enjoy the like, subscribe my channel. See you in the next one. Bye!